Everybody is familiar with Windows. You get a desktop with some icons and maybe a start menu in the corner. But this year, Microsoft is changing that up in a very big way with Windows 8. The operating system is meant for desktops, laptops, and tablets. And tablets is really the biggest change as they've optimized it for touch. This week, Microsoft is releasing a beta or a test version of Windows 8 for techies to try out at home on computers they may have. But they're going to release a full version later this year. So what's new? The heart and soul of Windows 8 is the start screen, and where you'll really say, wow, I cannot believe that is Windows. What you get here is a long list of applications, or what Microsoft calls live tiles. Each of the applications or tiles brings in live information about what's going on inside that tile. So for instance here, this weather widget is telling me that it's 40 degrees and sunny outside. If you're wondering where that traditional desktop is, you can always get back to it by selecting the desktop tile here. You can get back to the start screen by swiping on the right hand side and hitting the start button. As you can tell, Microsoft is putting a very big focus on applications. They're even going to release a store where you can buy them. But for now, there are a few that come with it, including Mail, People, Bing Maps, and a few others. The really cool thing about the applications is that you can see them at full screen, or you can decide to drag another one in and position it right to the left, or the right. If you're looking for some fun, Microsoft is putting on Xbox Live games, so you can buy games just like you do on your Xbox. I've been playing around with this Pinball FX game, which has been pretty entertaining to play, and has also had some really nice graphics. If you're like me, you spend a lot of time in the web browser, so Microsoft has done a lot of work on the next version of Internet Explorer. I really like the interface, it's very clean, and web browsing is very fast, but one thing that is pretty confusing is that there's another version of Internet Explorer on the desktop. And as you'll notice here, it doesn't have the same site that it has up in the other version. So we've seen how Windows 8 works with touch, but how does it work with a keyboard and mouse? Microsoft lent us this keyboard and mouse to try out the operating system. These are wireless, but it would work with any regular laptop or desktop. And actually, some of the keyboard shortcuts and the mouse shortcuts work really well. You can use the scroll wheel here on the mouse to get through the start menu, and when you go to the side, you can pick up some of those charms. There are also some other neat tricks. When you go to the side here, you can scroll through to some of the different windows. So what's the bottom line? Microsoft is doing some really interesting stuff with Windows 8. In fact, I think it's the biggest risk they've taken in a long time. There are still some bugs to be worked out, but I think when it is released later this year, the iPad is going to finally have some competition.